This project is Raspberry Pi Pico based air and sound collation using IoT. Here, using this project, we can monitor air and sound collation through IoT. We can see here, this is Pico microcontroller and this is the daughter board of Pico. It has 12 volts, 5 volts and 3.3 volts power and it has a all digital I.O. pins available. Using this board, we can make all functions are easy. You can see here, our project circuit diagram look like this. In this circuit diagram, we can see IoT module connected to 0 and 1 of GPIO pins. Here, two LEDs, red and green, connected to GPIO 12 and 13. And buzzer connected to GPIO 22. Here, DST 11 sensor connected to GPIO 10th pin. And MQ135 for air pollution, which is connected to GPIO 26. Nothing but analog pin. And last sensor, sound sensor. Here, this sensor connected to GPIO 27. Nothing but another analog pin. And this is our project block diagram. Look like this. Before going to start this project, initially we have to create hotspot in our mobile with username IoT server and password IoT server 123. Now we have to open hotspot settings. We can see here network name IoT server and password IoT server 123. Save. Mobile should have internet through the SIM. Now power on this. Wi-Fi connecting. Here we have three sensors. First sensor is DS11. In DS11 has a temperature and humidity. And second sensor is pollution. Third sensor is sound sensor. We can see here on LCD, it is showing T for temperature, H for humidity, P for pollution, S for sound sensor. Here, whenever these all sensors in abnormal condition like temperature greater than 40 and humidity greater than 90, and air pollution greater than 160 and sound sensor greater than 35 then buzzer will on and those sensors data will upload into the cloud server and also for every one minute Pico sends the all the sensors data in server in this IoT server we have to open using username and password here username is Pico8 and password is Pico8 now we have to open IoT server We can see here server URL projects factory server.in and it is asking username and password. Here username is pico8 and password is pico8. You can see here in LCD, U means data uploaded into the IoT server. Here, first we have to activate the pollution sensor. If this value greater than 160, then red LED on and buzzer on. In this data will upload into the IoT server. Here, second sensor is sound sensor. Now we have to activate the sound sensor.
it is showing value 38 red LED on and in this data will upload into the server and the next sensor is DHC11 first we have to activate the humidity it is showing the value 98 And in this DH11, next we have to activate the temperature. We can see here it is showing temperature 41 degrees. Now we have to open IoT server. We have to refresh this page. Here we can see it is showing temperature 41 degrees, humidity, air pollution and sound pollution with respect to date and time. Here it is showing the table format like this and if you want to see the graphical format then we have to press this switch to graph view.